Hey everyone, Ilda here from I Love Doing All Things Crafty, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an interactive card to share with you all featuring MFT's Which Way Is The Candy stamp set. So here's a closer look at the interactive card that I'll be showing you in the process video today. I'm super happy with how it turned out. To create the slider portion of the card, I used MFT's slider channel builder dynamics. And for this card, I wanted my witch to look like she was floating up into the sky with her broom on a bed of clouds. If you'd like to watch the speed coloring of these images, please watch my previous video. I will link it in the video description below. For this process video, you will only see the assembly of this card and how it's all put together. As you can see here, it is a pretty thick card, so just be aware of that if you plan on mailing something like this in the mail. I had to use um, four layers of foam tape to pop up the front sentiment to hide my clouds. And as I mentioned before, I am using the MFT's Which Way Is The Candy stamp set. It was such a fun stamp set to color and to use on these cards. My initial thought was to color an entire background of Canson watercolor paper and then trim it to the sizes that I would need for my cards. But as you will see later on in the video, I only end up using the top half of this colored background. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you watch the rest of the process video. If you do miss anything and I do not explain it in this video, please feel free to ask me in the comment section below. And as usual, I will have links to all the supplies I used below in the video description, and you can also find them over on my blog.
To create the slider channel portion of this card, I had to run the die through my machine three times to create three layers so I could stack them and um, allow for the movement to be smoother in the card. However, I only end up using one piece of the slider portion of the die. Here I am gluing all my pieces together. I am using Scotch quick dry glue. The top of my bottle was a little bit clogged so I do make a little bit of mess but I'm not too concerned as this will all be hidden behind the front panel. So here I'm using a Lawn Fawn slider die to create a stop point for my pull tab. This will also prevent the pull tab from falling out when it's pulled up and it will also cover up the background so that when you do pull it up you won't see just black, you'll see um, always a background. To create some stability for the witch so that when she's sliding up and down she doesn't fall off, I've cut out these small circle dies and I will just be gluing them to my slider discs and this way it'll keep her a little bit more stable and you'll see a little later on I do end up adding another piece of paper to these dies so that she is a little more stable when she is pulled up. Now I'm ready to attach the witch to the slider portion of the card. So first I want to add my slider discs to the channel that I created and I'm going to position these discs as far down as I can so this will allow um, the witch to be pulled as high as possible. And here's where I add a little bit of reinforcement using one of the pull tabs that I had previously cut from the channel builder die. And I just cut it to size and uh, that's what I'm going to be using behind her. This will just make her a little sturdier when she's being pulled up and down. And 
you're all probably wondering what I'm doing here, but I'm just adding a little bit of glue to the edge of the clouds and gluing them down. And uh, even though I had popped them up with the foam tape, um, this will help prevent the clouds from getting caught on the grass blades. To allow the pull tab to move freely, I need to ensure that I build up the front panel. So I do end up using four pieces of foam tape stacked, but narrow enough to hide behind the front grass panel. So keep in mind, if you are planning on sending something like this through the mail, you may have to use bubble wrap and reinforce the other areas so that it won't get damaged if you do end up sending it through the mail. I hope you've enjoyed today's process video. Leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And join me next time when I share with you the next interactive card as a countdown to Halloween. Till next time, everyone. Happy crafting. Bye.